I'm going to start sliding in the DMs. Remember me? Please do. Okay, I'm trying. You are the best kept secret in the universe. Welcome, um, we are at the tobacco shop, welcome to the BKS experience, we are here at the tobacco shop, um, shout out to my man Jerry, this is a beautiful place, yes sir, but most importantly, most importantly, we want to welcome you, an iconic, a legend, TV, acting, author, um, Ms. Bernadette Skinner. Come on now, Thelma, I asked you to teach me how to dance, not commit suicide, what's the name of this dance anyway? It's called the Freak Out. No wonder you could do it so good. <laughs> You've been freaked out for years. Made it for you, then. <laughs> How do you describe it? I you know I brought up this name. It's split. It's in some places it's burned to death. And it's, I'm like, is it burned? Burned to death? I know, I know. I messed that name up. Uh -oh. My name originally is just Bernadette. Okay. My own Bernadette. And of course, you know, I got fancy. You know, in the 70s, you know, you always would put a big capital in the middle of your name. So I added another N and put a capital in the mess the whole thing. So now people are looking at me going, that's not right. So it's burnt Nadette. So my middle name now is Nadette. <laughs> And so speaking of names, now I know everywhere you go, the name that follows you the most, it's got to be Thelma. Yes, it is So to, and to me, unfortunately, you are Thelma. Well, that's okay. That's why I respond to people. I don't okay. care. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm nervous right now. Yes. This is a dream. This is a dream for me. Oh my God. So I'm not even going to say my age. I won't, no, we can leave that age thing out. But what I was seeing is just growing up and seeing you on TV was just like, wow. I grew up, it's like, I know you were the big sister, but you were like more than that. You're beautiful. I'm doing what the young kids call shooting my shot. <laughs> I am married, so I will say that, so my wife will understand that, she can tell what's going on. But with that said, how often do you get people trying to shoot their shots? Well, you know, it's just too cute, it's too funny. I, even to this day, you know, it's so funny. I'm doing my book signing, it's so like that, and I'll get said, well, you know, here's my card anyway. <laughs> And I said, well, thank you, you know, so I have lots of cars and yeah. of different people, different states, and so whenever I go there, I they welcome me, you can call, you can call, you know. I might have, I think I might that's have kind of one, so I met you in 2012 at the SSB and back then I really couldn't see it. I was just in the community. Now I got a little more up than I can say, you know. Well, I'm very impressed with you, and you also about your camera work. I think it's awesome. We're um, personally, I do selective photography. That's my oh, that's, that's my catchphrase. Okay. That's what people know. And Eddie, what I'm just media, a podcast. I'm like more of a radio guy, more of a technical guy. Yeah, that voice, huh? Yeah, 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 radio voice. Radio voice. So we're seeing we're putting it together. To be able to be one of our first guests is amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, I just love you, Cameron. You do an amazing job. I wish you a lot of luck in it. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. We appreciate you for taking the time out to talk to us here. Um, and then when we're on the topic, Cameron, we talk about the educated, the respected, the that girl with morals in the show, and I see that it carries along so much more during your journey as you're becoming, um, getting into the acting and, and the directing behind the scenes and of course being an author. So your character in the show, um, what was that like to actually um, go forth and basically 
was it was it hard to be relatable because you already kind of had that maybe growing up or so? Because it seems like you, you had that character going all throughout the show, so it's kind of easy. Like you know how some all actors got to be put into character that something that they're not. Well, you know, I did study at Juilliard, so I did. I know my oh, wow. skills. Oh, wow. okay. so, you know, they didn't take any crap right there. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's okay, as long as you study, as long as you study. And so, you know, I knew my, my work there, but um, the character, it was like a gift. Yeah, God, I always believe that like, God gave me that character because I was born and raised in Brooklyn, in Brownsville, in the projects. I knew Thelma. I understood that character out and out. And you couldn't tell me that that person did not exist in the ghetto because I was that person. You know what I mean? I was a, a young girl that wanted to do well, that wanted to, to aspire to become something. And, um, you know, I just was optimistic about that. And I was and of course my, my, my mom and dad wanted to educate us, that was the biggest thing. So I was educated, so I just say that I, I was blessed to be able to play that character. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't like to cook, but I can really cook. Oh, okay. But okay. 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 No. Oh, wow. Hey Michael, would you come taste this soup for me please? Thelma, dear, nothing would give me more pleasure than to taste your delightful soup. <laughs> but my crunch would have made me eat it. I would have whatever Thelma he ended up, I would have made me. Stop it. Okay. Just like just like Keith had to do. Oh yes. Yeah, Keith was a lucky man. He was <laughs> Well, I mean, if he did, then it's just like, oh, we'll be in a problem. He had to eat it. Um, he was going to give me that look. <laughs> now, you're talking about your parents, man. We've got this like, perfect opportunity to kind of just watch you. Know, just talk a little bit about your parents. The stuff that we don't see behind the scenes. Thank you. 
I know you read books and you talk about the books and how you had to circle it back to you and yourself like I feel like you know I don't think I'm there I know I'm not there, so I'm getting myself I gotta get healthy myself. You know, I gotta I gotta I gotta be there for the kids for my wife. I mean I know I'm shooting my shot here, but <laughs> she understands. She definitely understands. I'm just without that. <laughs> you're more than you know, you are beautiful and you're holding up. But if you can just uh, talk a little bit about those books that you I wrote my first book on relationships, called Situations One on One Relationships, the book that I did. And then after I was touring with that book, of course, I had a dad at my mom's and he got me. So I was coming down with my son, and I joined with him, and showed her our friends, and we would do the tour and everything. But then I learned some things about touring and relationships, so we could take it that you know, finances had a big deal to do with your relationships. I would say a lot of relationships break up because of finances. People don't have a relationship with their own money, so they, you know, they abuse other people's money, but whatever. So I wrote a book. Um, I had help to write that book, but I wrote a book about finances. That may help us. And it did help a lot of people. Then after that, mommy started getting really, you know, sick. And so I decided that when she would be home, when her time came, I was going to write a book about her life, our lives together. And I really wanted to write a book for her, with her. And she was going through it, but of course, all the time, he had his own way. Uh, through, through this journey, there's so much that you've done, you know, to get to where you are and just continue to push on. So, what would be that overall inspirational message for somebody that's probably either coming up in the industry or whatever they've been working on and they may have run through that little turn or that obstacle along the way? What's that overall you know, inspirational message that you put in? Because you're continuing to push on. Well, you know, um, we make our own destiny, basically, and they're going to be people and they're going to be people that are always going to be people. Stop and say no, no, no. But then there's so many other people in the world that's going to say yes. So you just have to find those people. But get to your destiny. Do not stop. Okay? Wherever you say you want to be in life, make sure you get there. Because you can. Yeah, nobody, nobody can really stop you. It's, it's you stopping yourself. You know? What is it you're doing to reach your Okay, I have, you know, Instagram. I don't know. I want you to follow me. I'm start sliding in the DMs. Remember me? Please do. Okay, I'm trying to get my birthday to say it's for a second. My mother is 14, 16. Oh, really? I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Sagicorn. Okay, and I and I, I want you to follow me. My my Instagram is Thelma of Good Times. I'm in a little way. I keep that right there so you'll know that's me because the other ones are famous. And then my Facebook is Burn Not Dead Scanners. I'm in a lavender. And then, of course, Twitter, you know, I'm, on the, I'm the only one on Twitter, I think. And I don't think they have any big Twitters. So find me. All right, with all that said, we're going to wrap it up before we go. The name of the show is BKS Experience. What is this? The BKS Experience, right? So we're talking about the best you have seen. And what is your best kept secret? So you can look into the camera, say your name, and let me know what your best kept secret is. Well, my best kept secret, I don't think it's really a secret because my family knows about it, but every morning when I get up, I drop down on my knees, and I send my prayers, and I thank God for everything, and I ask my angels in heaven to please support my babies, my children, and all the ones that I love, and all my people. That's amazing. That's amazing. We thank you so much again. We appreciate you taking the time, listen, your books, the, the traveling, the inspiration that you give to all the people. We appreciate you for being a part of this um, edition of the BKS Experience. My name is Eddie. Hi, right, I'm going to shoot my shot one last time to get a hug. <laughs> Thank you so, right. thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck to you guys. Okay? All right. Stay tuned. Love you. That's all right, Walona. We need a new couch anyway. <laughs> One good thing did come out of all this, though. What? We got a chance to get rid of Thelma's soup. Oh, that's right, dog. Mm -hmm. Just looking out of the way.